Hey friends, we are Kaylee and John Nixon, the Nixon Pack. We're realtors, home designers, and DIYers. And today we are talking about 2019 home resolutions. And this is like one of those things I get so excited. You know me, I'm a list maker, but I'm not just one of those people who puts out the resolutions because no, I'm like super type A. I must check off all of the resolutions. So we are gonna make these happen. And home right? resolutions are a little bit easier to keep than the old yeah. gym ones. We're not like, so, oh, we're going to the gym every day. No, no, their home resolutions are way more We're gonna eat more cookies. <laughs> we haven't seen a gym in a long time. <laughs> okay, that's me, I guess. Okay, so home resolution number one, for me anyway, is to budget better. So when I say that, I mean, I'm going to be making a few less trips to home goods because you know, you walk those aisles and they've got, you know, pretty new cutlery out and you're like, Ooh, I haven't seen matte black cutlery before. I need to get this, but you don't. So go with a purpose shop with a purpose. If we're, you know, looking for a client or ourselves, I'm going to only go and purchase what I went for. And mine is tying into the home. If the home has enough room for storage, some people think they need to buy it. They buy it. We have room. We can put it here. So if something awkward. goes into the house, our rule is something has to go out of the house. And what makes it really easy to know what you're doing is taking the garbage out. If things, if your garbage cans are full every Monday and there's only two and a quarter person in the house, there's a lot of stuff coming in and not a lot of stuff going out. You will find out, especially when we've talked about selling a house, how much stuff you really actually have in your house. So that's New Year resolution for 2019. If something comes in, something has to go out. And, and I'm hoping that, it's not me. Depending. I think that's, it could be today. Um, I think that's one of those laws too, where you know you have more space, you accumulate mm -hmm. more stuff. And I've seen that with our basement and our garage, because when we were living in the city, there wasn't space for it, so we didn't get it in. Right. So do an edit, You know, go to your basement, see what you haven't looked at in years and get it out now, because chances are you could donate it to a family in need and really help make a difference for others, because it's just, sitting in your basement and, and getting moldy or getting destroyed and then it's not good for anybody. And with the finance topic coming into 2019 for the resolution, we like to think about what we think we can get done in that year under the budget that we have. So instead of you know having all these smoke dreams that we're going to do three bathrooms, a kitchen, the windows and a roof, it's not feasible. So pick what you think you can target for, for that year. Realistically. Yeah, that's a really great tip. I forgot my other ones. The next resolution we have, scrap sentimental. So I, I say this, I'm the most sentimental, like sappy person you could find. I did this, I'm sorry. He did this to me. But that being said, when you inherit things from, you know, your great, great grandmother or a loved one passes away and they've gifted you, you know, a clock or a mirror, or maybe it's, you know, something little, maybe it's a hat box that just isn't your style. Um, our advice to you is keep what you love. If something reminds you of that family member that has passed or, you know, that, that person who was kind enough to gift you something and it really means something to you, but then by all means display it in your home. I've got a, a figurine that my dad left me that is probably the least design worthy thing in our home, but something that I truly treasure. So I'm not saying, you know, scrap all the sentimental. If it means something to you, keep it. But if it means something to them and it has no significance to you whatsoever, don't clutter your home with something that doesn't make you feel joy and make you feel love. And to be realistic, if a family member passes or somebody close, you can't take their entire house and yeah. move it into your house. It just leaves you with feelings of guilt and it's not really good for anybody. And especially, you know, something that we've always had as a resolution that we've always strive for is to fill our home with things that we absolutely love. And that's something that we tell our design clients all the time. You know, don't worry about what's in, don't worry about what your neighbor has, worry about what you love because you're spending the most amount of time in your home. So you want to walk around and know that, you know, something has meaning in all of the rooms. So please tell us your resolution for 2019, if it has to do with homes or whatever your personal one is. Yeah, we can't wait to hear. We would love to see your comments below. And if you like what you saw, please subscribe to our channel so we can do more of this, what we love. Thanks guys so much. We'll see you next week for the Nixon Pack Nugget.